name is Anjali and today I'm going to be talking to you lovely people about the science of fangirling. And why is it a crisis when your celebrity crush farts? I am for sure the biggest fangirl to exist for Hugh Jackman. Shout out to you Hugh Jackman. I basically cry over his Instagram posts <laughs> and it goes from there. So what is fangirling you ask? Well, according to Urban Dictionary, it's the reaction a person has to any mention or sighting of the object of her affection. In other words, it's the involvement of somebody with a celebrity? <laughs> so apart from all the screaming, the OTP and the asululululu, why is it that fangirls freak out when their objects of affection do something that they don't agree with? A fangirl or a person needs to keep all their beliefs consistent to avoid mental discomfort. And when that consistency is disturbed by an act that is undesirable, such as a fart, it conflicts with their expectations and then the discomfort they experience, well, that is known as cognitive dissonance. This is where a person experiences excessive mental stress and discomfort experienced when you're confronted with new information that conflicts with your existing beliefs. And this is the cause of some fangirls crying in a corner, screaming and just disagreeing with something that their celebrity crush could have possibly done. Usually to solve the stress of being underdone, the person should decide on what to do and this depends fully on how you handle stress so for example someone might tweet their thoughts someone might rant to a friend someone could just shrug the entire entire thing off it depends on how someone copes, copes with stress so fangirling as in its purest sense is just a way for us to portray or to support someone or something. However, like everything else in the world, it can have both positive and negative aspects. It can be a source of happiness or it can be a cause of added stress. But all in all, fangirling is inevitable in such a closely knit society. It's just a matter on how to properly handle the stress or the feels. So who do you fangirl over and how do you handle the feels? Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already, as well as follow us on Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook. And those links should be in the description bar below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on my personal social websites, then that should be in the description bar below as well. Thank you for watching. I am now gonna go and fangirl over Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Bye.